call the vote your proudest achievement. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, because um, it, it's all new technology. And all of the other cars that I've done that I've been proud of have been basically variations of normal cars. A report from Reuters on Monday estimates that General Motors loses $49,000 for every volt it sells thanks to a $1.2 billion investment in producing an electric car that hardly anybody wants to buy. But I think we should sell. Sell low. Sell the stock now. Get out while we still can. They keep thinking they're going to hang on until it gets back up to $53 a share. It will never get back up to $53 a share. Just get out of this business as fast as we can. To the conference call, I went to a meeting in downtown Allentown. And I saw a Chevy Volt parked there in this really lousy neighborhood. And I thought, how does one get a $40,000 vehicle, even with a $7,500 taxpayer incentive uh, in that neighborhood? Nobody wants this thing. No other car maker other than Toyota has been able to sell one. They tried to do this 100 years ago. It didn't work. Give it up. This is all new technology. This is something that nobody has ever done before and that many of our competitors said wouldn't, wouldn't be wouldn't be possible and GM will never do it. Well, and, and you've said the Volt will, I think you said, poke a finger in the eye of, of naysayers, the naysayers, right? That's right, yeah, and there were many. He, he, it's like Elon Musk has been beamed down from another <laughs> planet to show us mortals how to run a, how to run a company. <laughs> the fact is, uh, it's a constant cash drain. They're highly dependent on federal government and state incentives for money, which constantly flows in. Uh, but, you know, someday gravity is going to take over. Fundamentals are going to dictate what happens to Tesla. You have to have more money coming in than going out. I think they're doomed. I, I, if you have a situation where the cost of producing a car, labor and materials, is higher than your sell price, your business model is flawed. And it's, it's, it's doomed, and it's going to fail. General Motors loses $49,000 for every volt it sells thanks to a $1.2 billion investment in producing an electric car that hardly anybody wants to buy. How in the world is he going to make money on a $35,000 small car? Tonight, he unveiling the new electric car that had lines wrapped around Tesla leaderships, uh, dealerships in San Diego and across the globe. Uh, our 40 mile range is pretty sure. Now on a very cold day with the heater on, it might go down to 32 miles, but it doesn't matter because you've always got that backup gasoline generator. Now you've taken the Volt and you've got a electric car and then you've also got an engine. You've also got the transmission. And as we say, the reliability of the Volt is not good because the engine has right. problems. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? If you're making uh, an electric car, don't put an engine right. in and uh, you won't uh, have problems with it. Yeah, <laughs> and I think the, I mean, the latest reliability data kind of, um, proves my point mm -hmm. that the beauty of an electric car is its simplicity, okay? You don't have a transmission, you know, you just have one gear, you don't have a lot of things to go wrong. Right. 10,000 volts, that was the sales Joel GM was hoping for this year, but with less than two weeks to go, let's just say this puppy could be about to short circuit big time. And Volt Watcher Mark Radica says the numbers are even worse than they appear. You never get stuck by the side of the road hoping somebody will come along with a five gallon can of electricity when you're... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Outside of Detroit, everybody thinks Detroit is dumb. He launched Tesla five years ago with no experience at all in the car business. Now he has over a thousand orders for the Roadster from people like George Clooney and Governor Schwarzenegger. 78% of trips in the United States are under 40 miles a day. If all those people had volts, you would have 78% of Americans basically never using another drop of gasoline. The results of our test of the Tesla Model S P85D, it turned out it was the highest scoring car we've ever. There's no surprise. I mean, you take the best car we've ever tested and you make it better and it does better. So um, it kind of broke the system. I mean, hey, this isn't an easy business after all. And I think that's about the point where, where Tesla is right now.